once we download the log for PHP, we just need to make sure that the files within the PHP folder, a folder within main, within SRC, we just need to have those files available. So in case you are working using Eclipse or Zen Studio, you can just drag and drop those files as I did over here. Uh, I just chose to rename the PHP folder to log for PHP. I believe it is uh, more understandable. Now, once we have all files accessible, let's take a look at this code sample. Well, first we need to configure the log for PHP framework, and there are three ways for doing it. First, uh, using an XML document, as I did. Another way is through the PHP code, and another way is through um, properties file. In this case, I chose the XML option, and as you can see, I uh, define an appender, an appender which is a uh, file appender, meaning that using this appender the log messages shall uh, be written to a file. Here I specify the name of that file. This is the name of the appender. And here I define uh, the logger I want uh, to use. In this case its name is uh, something and it use uh, the appender defined above. Now if we take a look at the PHP code then we can find a call to the static method configure defined within the class logger. Here we pass over the name of the XML document we want to use as the configuration for the log for PHP framework. And here you can find the definition for the class something. Here we instantiate something and call uh, the method run. If we check the code of something, we can find within the constructor a call to the static method get logger. Here we pass over the name of the class something. And as you can recall, here we defined a logger. Its name is something. Then, once we get the logger, from now on we simply use it. As you can see, by calling in this code sample, we call the function info each time we, we want to uh, pass over um, an informative message, a message that will be logged in a file, in this case, file because this is the appender we are using. Now if we execute demo.php let's refresh. As you can see we have a file. Its name is project logs. Just as we specified in the configuration file and if we check its content this is what we find. We can change the layout of each log message by changing the configuration file, placing for example the child element layout specifying a class attribute with this value, we shall get log messages in a different layout, a more sophisticated one. Let's execute one more time. Now if we check the logs uh, file, as you can see, the additional messages of a more um, practical layout that tells us the exact time each message was written.